Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another one of my figure videos. In this video, I'm going to go through the Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora action figure. So I've covered Bring Arts Sora before uh, in my past videos, and that was also Kingdom Hearts 3, but in his regular outfit. This is uh, the guard form Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3. Again, a game that hasn't actually come out yet, so there's a lot of information we don't actually know for what, why he's dressed like this and any sort of real differences for him. The obvious difference so far is this figure is all in yellow uh, and he comes with a different keyblade than the original Bring Arts that came out uh, some time ago last year. So I'm going to go through the parts first, then I'll go through the figure and I'll quickly compare it against the original Bring Arts version and then I'll compare it also very quickly with the SH Fig Arts Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora. So with the optional parts first, let's go with the stand. So the original one also came with a stand and it comes with uh, the Kingdom Hearts heart base. So it's nicely shaped, it's just a lightweight plastic, but it should hold him up reasonably well. Um, and then, of course, the parts of the stand also that come attached. Well, they're separate, but you just attach it. If you want to loosen and move these um, to whatever direction you need to, you just need to get a small screwdriver, something like this. It doesn't come with a screwdriver, this is something separate. And you just unscrew it uh, to make it easier, otherwise it's quite stiff to move them. And you can do that at various points. Claw-wise, this is the original claw that's on them. It's a wide claw, uh, and that should grip the figure relatively well. If you need to get a tighter grip, they do also supply these even more narrower, narrow-looking claws, like so. So depending on what kind of pose you're after, uh, you might need to change them. And that's just a case of unscrewing it at the right point and then swapping them over. Optional parts, so slightly different from um, the amount that it comes with in terms of uh, the other Bring Arts version. So straight away, because it's a guard form, his keyblade is different. Uh, I don't think this actually has a proper name yet. There's again a lack of information on you know the game itself, but you know it's obvious what we can tell from this is that it's based on you know Mount Olympus uh, or the you know it's just the Olympus world uh, from Kingdom Hearts. So it's got Zeus holding a lightning bolt at the uh, edge of the keyblade, and then it's all got lightning sort of uh, motifs to it. The color is really nice, actually. It's got like a yellow in the middle and then gradient into orange around here where my finger's pointing. It's actually really nicely painted. There is a little bit of uh, the plastic kind of uh, you know, issue there where it's not you know, sanded down, if you like, properly. But it's really nice keyblade, actually. I really did quite think, well, I quite liked it. I thought it was quite cool. You've got, I think, this is the Olympian uh, icon, I believe. Uh, um, and then, of course, the sort of uh, pillar sort of iconography that, you know, the whole thematic thing goes on that goes on in Hercules in general. Uh, interesting thing to note about this, by the way, is in, you can take this off. There we go. And then that makes it easier to slip in uh, the hand that holds this keyblade. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but interestingly, the other version, uh, which came with the you know fancy looking keyblade, didn't have that. You just kind of just force it in. But I'll show you that. And then also... It will have the charm at the end with the kind of metal at the end to it. Unlike the SH Figarts, this sort of chain is just kind of one piece. It doesn't dangle in each sort of link. Um, so SH Figarts wins in that case. But overall, it's a nice looking keyblade. You know, it's, it's, it's cool. I wonder how it affects um, the Sora in the game itself and what kind of gameplay differences this one will have. Expecting, you know, strength increase, things like that. So I'll put the keyblade aside. And I'll show you that again soon. He does come with extra pairs of hands, similar to the original Sora. So this one comes... So he's got the fist on him. And then he also comes with the hands that hold the keyblades. As you'd expect, these use the guard form colors, so the yellow and the browns. But otherwise, it's the same as the other one. So it includes the, the stubby-looking fingers, which I mentioned in my old video. So check that one out, where I go through the original Fig Arts... Uh, not Fig Arts, the Bring Arts. Additional hands. So he's got these open hands. Like so. And then finally he comes with a extra head. An extra head. Uh, so this one's his... Well, he's got a bit of a smirk on him. And then the hair colour is the same. I, there might be a slight difference in uh, the underlying tone of the colour compared to the Bring Arts, uh, the original Bring Arts that came out. But otherwise the moulding and sculpting is all the same thing. The eyes are glossy as well on this one. So yeah, that's... 
the alternate head. Um, he doesn't come with transformed keyblades, like the little guns that the original version comes with. So I'm not sure why. I don't know if that's the, you know, a specific reason they didn't want to do it because of spoilers or, you know, he doesn't have a transformation for the, this particular form. Don't know yet. But I will show you that as well um, at the end of the extra bits that the original Sora comes with. So taking a closer look at the figure. So there he is. Uh, straight away, you can pretty much tell it's just a color variant. There's not a lot or anything else changed. There's no like uh, molding or uh, articulation change. It's the exact same figure. So instead of the red and black uh, color scheme that the original Sora had, this one has the whole yellow, mustardy looking yellow uh, is the best way I can put it. So this is the kind of color that he's got with him. The pattern here on his legs is different. In the original one, he had like uh, cross patterns on his collar of his hoodie where my thumb is. But now he's got uh, kind of like a checkerboarding, if you like, diamond shape, you know, at the cuffs of his pants. So otherwise, it's mostly the same in terms of molding. So his, you know, gloves are all the same molding. The hoodie is the same molding. So it's the whole same molding on you know, over here. It's just one piece. It's not a flap or anything that can come undone. Uh, boots are the same. Just slightly color different, I guess. A bit more of a darker yellow. I think they might even be the same. We'll bring them out later on to compare. But overall, yeah, it's just the same thing, just recolored. That's all it is. This is not going to be the first recolor. Might as well point that out, that there is going to be a Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, recolor variant coming uh, soon. I think it's coming out maybe June, maybe? But anyway, so let's go through the articulation of the figure itself. So it's like I said, it is the same as the original release. Moving his head up, like so, and then down, like so. And then of course he can move right and left. Torso, he can come forward. Let's say about that much. I've kind of moved him down from the waist a bit. And leaning back. He can lean back a decent amount. He's kind of looking a bit too much to his left. Exposed joints wise, there's not much that really happens with him. It's actually, you know, fairly decent. If you're moving forward, then yeah. But it's actually not, you know, it's it's okay. Moving to his elbow, uh, shoulder, sorry. You can twist all the way around. He doesn't have bicep up here, but he does have a swivel around here. So that's cool. And then he can do that with his elbow. You will get some slight bend if he bends it back a bit too much. Um, to be fair, that happens in real life with some people. Uh, but, you know, you'll get the big bubble, not bubble, it looks like a bubble, but the ball joint that happens at his elbow as well. I th you know, some people don't like them, and it's a similar thing with uh, the Play Arts Kai where the elbow joints really can look too round and too gla glaringly obvious. But if it's kind of bent like so, it's actually okay. I don't mind it too much. Then moving down to his wrist, can go all the way around and then up and down. So the same applies to the other arm as well. Twisting, of course he can do that. So he can you can put him into striking poses with his keyblade. It's all good, not a problem. His leg, so his leg can come up pretty much 90 degrees. But if you move it to the side a bit, it can come up a little bit more. You will get the split at his pants just there if you can see it and then moving it back yeah no it's quite good it's quite good again is that his leg is off to an angle here so it's a bit more than if you did say straight down but it's okay it's really it's fine his knee can go back like so and then of course it stops there because of his pants but you know whether you like this whether it's enough for you or not it's debatable but i think it's personally okay it gets the job done decently now he doesn't have any calf swivel so that's a bit of a bummer but he does have the boots over here with the ankle swivel uh, and then he can do the pivot like so personally i think i've mentioned this in the original version as well but i don't like the pivot like this i just don't think it looks very nice i don't it's not just a sora thing i think you know any figure that has it like this i'm just not a big fan of that sort of direction because i just think it's ugly and then he doesn't have the toe hinge, which I really, really like. You know, it just makes sense for him to have it. I'll show you the SH figures very briefly, uh, just to kind of compare what it's like later on. But do check out that full video where SH figures excels more at articulation. So that's Sora and the way he looks and the way he articulates. Changing his parts, very simple. It's the same as you know the other version. Pull off his head, and then we'll put on his other one. For me personally, 
pulling off his head uh, first time was fine, but then the second, third, whatever other times, it was quite loose. So if you're going to make him look up and then, or you just fiddle with his head too much, it can just kind of come off quite simple. So just keep that in mind so you don't end up, you know, losing the piece or, you know, a little kid kind of plays with him and then pulls his head off quite easily. So that's really easy. You know, here's a closer look at his uh, smirking face, which I've shown you already anyway, but it's attached to him now. And then his hand, let's put on the keyblade hand, right? Simple, again, you just pull it. My joints are a little bit still stiff, uh, stiff at the moment, so if they are the same, if it's the same for you, then, you know, just get a hairdryer and then gently, don't get too close, but gently heat it up and then it should make things easy for you. I had a bit of trouble putting uh, his hands on for those reasons, but here we go, I think it's on. So that's good. I've just noticed well, there's a bit of paint scuffing on here. Um, I think the other one also has some paint scuffing. It's not the cleanest paint. You know, it could be better. It's the same with the plastic and sculpting. But, you know, it's 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 alright. It's alright. It's good for first starter. Anyway, so bringing out his keyblade. So the original keyblade, you couldn't, you didn't have that bit where I showed you earlier on where, you know, this bit comes off. Let's just put it off again. Yeah, the top bit. You know, you had to kind of just force it into his hand. But you can with him just... Slip it in. It makes it so much easier. And then you just plug this back on top. And it's a clean finish as well. Like it doesn't really, you know, look like that's an ability that could happen. Let's try to put that on again. There we go. I didn't actually know that uh, that could be done. I accidentally just was toying around with it and then this came off and I thought, oh, okay, that makes things a lot easier. So if you're worried that, you know, if you try to force it through his hand, you can sometimes, um, you might get worried that you'll break his fingers or his thumb. That can happen if, the you know, you haven't heated up or it's in a cold temperature and then, you know, the thumb just snaps off. So if you're worried about that, do it the way I've just shown you here and then that will just make things that much more easier. It's a shame the other Keyblade didn't have it, but it's a good progress. And like I said, it looks super clean. You wouldn't have noticed it, right? But he looks good holding the Keyblade. You know, it's a nice looking Keyblade. I do actually prefer it compared to the one that comes with the original Sora. That was some strange looking Keyblade, you know, but this one looks really cool. I like it. Uh, so that's pretty much the Sora and swapping parts and hands. You know, if you want to swap off, you know, the other hands, simple case again, pull it off, swap the other one over. Now, comparing it to the other Sora, the original, keep calling him the other, you know, he technically is. So here's the other one. They are the same size. Both are, you know, just shy of 15 centimeters. And that includes the tip of his hair as well. So, guard form Sora on the left, regular Sora on the right. So this one's been out for a good while now. You can still get it. Um, and then that Sora came with Keyblade that looked like this. You know, it's got a star windmill looking thing. I'm really not sure what this is supposed to be. Uh, I prefer the Olympus keybait that he's holding in the guard form. It just looks so much nicer. You can swap them around if you need to. You can hold both. Um, so, you know, give this keyblade to guard form and give the Olympus one, the regular one. It's no problem. That's a good thing. They scale with each other. So that's, you know, good for accessory swapping. But the original form did also come with this once it focuses in. So this one is... Um, in the game, what we know so far is that his Keyblade can do some sort of, you know, transformation. And he comes with two of these pistol or gun looking transformations in the original version. Guard form does not come with any of that. He just comes with a regular Keyblade. So, Keyblade. Key so, that's what you're going to have to deal with. Bringing out the SH Figure Arts, Sora. So, this one, you know, if you've seen my other video, uh, video then... You know, good for you. If not, go check it out. But this one is based on Kingdom Hearts 2. It's not a Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, figure based wearing the Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. It is based on actual Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora. So he's a little bit smaller because, you know, he is younger. Um, so he, you know, he also looks a little bit more childlike and his shoes a bit more bigger. But what I mean by the articulation, so what I meant with the toe. So he has a toe hinge right here. This is SH figure arts, by the way, on the right. Again, just to remind you guys. So don't get confused. And then he can also kind of pivot inside his boot. And I really, really like this. You know, the way they've done it, that incorporated that whole movement and articulation on the SH figure arts is, is perfect as far as I'm concerned. Whereas this one with the bring arts, you know, you've got that weird heel joint and it just, it looks ugly. It really does look like clown feet. 
you know, it's just not appealing to look at. So, SH Fugue Arts, perfect, 10 out of 10. Bring Arts, mm, I hope they do improve on that. Whether they will or not, I'm not sure, because, you know, they do the play art stuff, so it might kind of, you know, follow on from that, where they just get set in their ways almost. But, all in all, if you've got the original regular Sora, which I'm holding here, now this time regular's on the left, you pretty much know what to expect with the right hand Sora. It's just a color variant, there's not a lot more to say about it. Um, and he's not going to be the first variant, so they've already announced that there's going to be a Kingdom Hearts 2 skin of the same figure. Then there's also going to be the Halloween costume Sora and Christmas Town Sora. So that's one, two, three, four, five Soras already. And they've also announced the Toy Story Sora, but thankfully the Toy Story Sora is going to be, you know, based on a toy, right? So that's going to make him a different figure. But the other Soras are relatively the same, especially these two plus the Kingdom Hearts 2 one. Those are going to just be color variants. So keep that in mind because, you know, if you've only got money for the one figure, then you might want to just save up and wait for the you know, particular version that you want. Um, I will probably still get them anyway because I like the, the size, the scaling there. Okay, I do still prefer SH Figure Sora. He's still my favorite one. I'm going to bring him to the front. Uh, he's probably not going to stand up right now because his legs are all moved. It's okay, he's just dancing away like that. Yeah, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. But yeah, I do prefer the SH Figure Sora. But, you know, those guys, you know, Bandai, Tamashi Nations, those guys are, you know, super good and, you know, experienced at bringing figures to life, really, compared to you know, Square Enix, especially in this scale. So you can still get this, both figures, from the Square Enix shop if you're in Europe or uh, the Americas, and maybe in Japan as well. Uh, I believe they both roughly cost around £60, which is quite a bit of money for a figure at 15 centimeters. Uh, but this is aimed at collectors, the older collector. It's not aimed at children. So children, you know, you can probably opt to get the Diamond Select Kingdom Hearts 2 toys that come out. But otherwise, if you're a serious Kingdom Hearts uh, Kingdom Hearts series fan, pick the SH Figure Arts, always. But if you can't access or, you know, get your hands on SH Figure Arts or Play Arts is available to you. Uh, and then, you know, they've got the Play Arts Kai of previous stories, which... Uh, expensive, more expensive and bigger scale. But in any case I will cover Sora, the next Sora is coming out uh, and I hope you are well informed now of the difference between Guard Form Sora, Original Form Sora SH Figure Guard Sora. If not well, I did try but do check out my other videos where no, I, not only do I cover the Kingdom Hearts figures but also Marvel figures from you know the movies, other SH figures and other figmas, other Pokemon stuff and so on. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you next time. Keep it real!